Do you know the Arabic letter that we'll be going through today? Qaf. It's a bit like with a little bit of softness. Qaf. No, no, sorry, I, I coughed. You coughed. I, I just coughed, yeah. You coughed. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to go through the letter Qaf. Qaf. Not Qaf. Qaf. My cousin in America says that. What does he say? Coffee. 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 No, no, coffee. Coffee. The strange way of learning, Jamal, with your American cousin brother. Interesting, isn't it? It's not interesting at all. Um, anyway, we pronounce the word or the letter Qaf. Go on, try it. Qaf. 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 So it is pronounced from the back of your mouth. Qaf. You know Qaf. how you pronounce the letter Ghain? Say Ghain. Ghain. Like that same place we say Qaf. Just a bit in front, I think. A little bit. Say Qaf. No, no. If you make the R sound. Go on. And then go And then bring your tongue forward. Guys. Then you can say Qaf. Very simple. Qaf. Say Qaf. Qaf. Off. Now, you, people can mistake by make a mistake by saying calf. It's not calf. It's not a light one. It's a stronger one. Cough. The one with the two dots. Say cough. 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 Okay. So, very good. Children watching the program and everyone else, do you know a word in Arabic that starts with the letter cough? Something that is part of your body. I know what I could I You cannot live without it. If that part of the body doesn't work, you're not going to be alive. Your calf. Your calf. Calf? Calf? You know, on your leg? No, no, no. Calf. No, no. no, no. But I, no. What I was referring to is something which is within your body, the heart. In Arabic, it's called qalb. Oh. Say qalb. 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 Say qalb. Qalb. Okay, so the heart is called qalb in Arabic. Qalb. Do you know any other word which starts with the letter qaf? I do, yes. Go on. Quran. Quran. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. You know, and the Quran has a strong positive effect on your qalb. Qalb. Nice. Oh, that's very good, Akalai. Very good. I'm, I'm improving, MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Well done. Okay. Any other word that starts with the letter qaf? Um, um, think about it. Think about it. Um, the moon. The moon. But it doesn't start with the letter Qaf. It does in Arabic. In Arabic. What is it called? Shams. No, it's called Qamar. Oh yeah, Qamar. 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 You know what it is? Moon. Moon. Very good, mashallah, tabarakallah. Something that Allah mentioned in the Quran as well. Qalam. Qalam. Yes. Which means the pen. Pen. Very good. Yes, I say Qalam. 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 The pen. Jamal, do you know there is another word... Quds. Al Quds. What's that? In Palestine. Do you remember? Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So we have Al Quds, Masjid Al Quds, which is known as the Holy Masjid in Bayt Al Maqdis in what? In Palestine. Jerusalem. In, in Palestine, by Isa. Right? In Palestine. In Palestine. In Arabic, we call it Palestine. Say Palestine. 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 So this is the one of the most holiest masjids. Uh, holiest mosques for Muslims. We have three, don't we, Uncle Life? We have three. We have Masjid Al Quds in Palestine. We have Masjid Al Nabwi in Medina. And we have Masjid Al Haram in Mecca. Thanks, Uncle Life. And you know, when you pray in Masjid Al Quds, the reward you get is one prayer is equal to 250 prayers. Really? Yes. What about Medina? Medina is how much? 1,000 times. And in Mecca? 100,000 times. I think we should go live there, Uncle Life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take you there. I mean, do you know a word or a name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that starts with the letter Qaf? I don't, Uncle Life. You don't? Not really. Should I tell you? Yes, please. Al Qawi. Al Qawi. Al Qawi. What does that mean? Which means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's the, he's the strongest. He's the one who's the most strongest of anyone because he's Allah. The most strong out of anyone. The most strong out of everyone. And Allah is the creator. So of course he will be the most Even strong. the biggest guy with the biggest muscles. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bigger than each and everything that is there that we see and we don't see. And we understand and we don't understand. And he's the strongest out of everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is strongest about and everything. He is Al-Qadir. The one who is 
controller of each and everything. He controls everything. Everything. And there's a beautiful uh, name of Allah, which is Al-Qareeb. 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 You know what it means? What does it mean? The one who is most near to you. Wow. So Allah knows each and everything that you have in your heart, the one you are thinking, Allah is Qareeb to you, Allah is close to you. He's the closest to us. Allah says in the Quran as well, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ That when my servant asks of me, and subhanAllah Allah says, when my servant, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي My servant asks of me, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ Verily I am close to him. Allah is close to us. And what dua would you make or how would you make dua if you know Allah is close to you, Jamal? I mean, if anything, I'll call life. Yeah. If I know Allah is close to me all the time, uh-huh. it just gives me confidence to do things. Very good. Why? Because Allah is the most stronger. Allah is the one who is the Qadir. Allah is the one who knows about what is there in your Qalb. Yep. And Allah is the one who created each and everything. SubhanAllah. And if He's with me, there's no need to be scared ever. You're right. Because He's always there with us. So how would you make this dua? Teach us how would you make this dua, Jamal? The one with Al-Qareeb. Yes. Oh Allah, you are Al-Qareeb. So please... Help me go to sleep at night time when my mum turns the light off and okay. it's all dark. Very good. What else? With Al Qawi. Yes. Like Allah is the strongest. Oh Allah, you are Al Qawi and there's this really ugly boy who's bullying me at school. So I'll, please help me. I wouldn't say ugly. You say there's a boy who's bullying you. Help me. But I'll tell you another thing, Jamal. You should not be scared of anyone. Why? Because Allah is Al Qawi and He's with you. Exactly. Okay. So the letter we went through is the letter Qaf. Qaf. Say it again. Qaf. Very good. I could have. Yes. Can I ask you one more question? Bismillah. If someone is bullying me at school, yeah. should I just make dua? You should make dua to Allah. You should tell the teachers and your parents. And you should not feel scared. You should feel confident. You should feel strong. And you should know that Allah is with you all the time. And, and talk to someone about it as and well. talk to someone about this. Okay. Is that okay? Thanks, Uncle Dive. Jazakallah khair. Look after yourself. I think there's only one thing left to say, Uncle Dive. And that is? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Addinu nasiha, addinu nasiha. Deenies are now in town to spread some smiles. Let's call to Allah the one. While we learn and have some fun With Iman, Tawheed and Salah We pray a lot for Barakah We love our prophets And follow Sunnah Join us on the path to Jannah Where we only want to please Allah Addinu Nasiha Addinu Nasiha Deenies are now in town to spread some smiles Allah.